huge supporter of entrepreneurs. Uh, he is uh, one of the creators of the Green Belt. Uh, he is uh, definitely one of the busiest ministers. But I, I said the speech uh, this morning at Burlington about you know a great Greek philosopher who said uh, you know go change the world. It was my mother, uh, and uh, it, he's the kind of guy who is changing the world. And I wanted to uh, welcome him here to this fantastic place with probably some of the movers and shakers of our community. So uh, welcome to Mr. Victor, our Ontario's Minister. Thank you very much. A lot of these opportunities to get together with some of the leaders in our community, in particular in the energy field, uh, to talk about some of the challenges we face, uh, to talk about some of the choices we've made and why we've made them, uh, and to talk about why it's really important uh, to, uh, to communicate to Ontario families, uh, but, uh, the changes that are taking place in their energy system, uh, the uh, impacts on them uh, in terms of the costs, which we've been very upfront about, and the things we're doing to make life a little easier for Ontario families in going through this transition, as well as the importance uh, for moving forward with these investments, which often get lost and have in the past gotten lost uh, because of the um, well, frankly, the lack of courage of, uh, of uh, politicians past who haven't made the decisions that we've made over the last seven years uh, to build this clean, reliable, and modern energy yeah. system. They're taking 10% off of their bills uh, for, for the next five years. Uh, every bill, uh, Ontario small businesses and Ontario farmers are going to benefit significantly from this. For, just to put into perspective, it's about $150 a year for Ontario <coughs> families. will by and large offset the majority of the cost increases in the system. Um, but for Ontario farmers, it's about $2,000 um, a year. Uh, very significant. Uh, and uh, for uh, small businesses, about $1,700. Uh, so that's going to be of help uh, to Ontario families at a time when our families have uh, have strained budgets as a result of the global uh, uh, recession uh, at a time when I think they're concerned about their, their pocketbooks uh, and uh, at a time when communities like, like this one, uh, you know, and, and many across Ontario, uh, have gone through some challenging times. Uh, I've been going community to community now uh, across this province, so I'll be uh, God willing with the snow in uh, Sudbury uh, tomorrow and Sault Ste. Marie the next day. And Ottawa the next day after that, and nothing like getting snowed in. That's right. I'm sure. You've been there, I'm sure. What I've, I've detected now is a rekindling of hope and optimism in those communities as jobs are being created right across the province. Uh, earlier today, we were at SATCOM, uh, where 40 new jobs were added. That's 100, 158 total jobs, part of our clean energy economy, uh, and uh, an important part of our clean energy economy. In this region alone, um, the last estimate I've seen is about 650 jobs, about 300 that are already announced in three different uh, solar manufacturing outfits. And another one uh, that's well on the way, uh, which uh, Sophia and Ted and the Premier announced. Uh, and, uh, but we, uh, our Premier said, look, we need to do this. You know, why don't we attack it? Why don't we get on it? Why don't we make Ontario? It's the right thing to do. That's the right thing to do. And why don't we get in, make Ontario a global leader in doing this and, and, and rebuild our, our economy on this next generation of, uh, of job creation? Uh, and uh, you know, a number of years later, it's taken some time. It hasn't been easy. It's taken some very significant investment. But we're now sitting as probably the jurisdiction in the world considered the uh, the premier jurisdiction when it comes to uh, innovation in clean energy, when it comes to manufacturing, when it comes to energy projects and expertise and I mean, making these projects happen. And uh, as I said, we're, we're seeing this clean energy economy just just, uh, just increasing. 13,000 jobs created already. By the end of this year, it'll be up to 36,000. By the end of the next year, it'll be up to 50,000 jobs that we've created just through this alone. Not to mention the fact that we're cleaning our air, improving our health, uh, and, uh, and building a, a, a new energy system based on uh, cleaner sources of technologies. It's, it's, uh, one of
one of the clean energy conferences. So there's so many going on. And they're all in this area. And the world's coming here. Uh, it's always a global conference. And I, uh, just before I got up to speak, I came across uh, an energy expert from Denmark and one from Germany. And, uh, and my typical kind of Ontario and Scarborough kid, humble kind of way, I said, you know, we are pretty proud of the fact that we've, you know, we've risen up and become one of the you know, leader, leaders globally in, in the clean energy movement. And they just stopped me dead in my tracks. Um, you know, and these are com countries that have been out ahead as well. And said, no, 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 we're here because you are no longer one of our, you are the global leader in clean energy. And it's, it's kind of nice to be out front.